So where are all the good Xbox mods? In past weeks, if you look at my videos and the videos on some other people's channels, console mods or Xbox One mods for the time being seem to have been pretty lacking. There just really hasn't been many good releases on consoles. But on PC, there's actually been quite a few good releases. So why is that? There seems to be a number of reasons behind this. First and foremost, a lot of people actually just really hate Bethesda.net. And by a lot of people, I do mean a lot of mod authors. I've heard and read about a lot of mod authors just simply not liking the web Website, so they protest it. And unfortunately, this means no mods for Xbox users because that's the only way you could actually get Xbox One mods. The reason behind this hatred is, first and foremost, is the actual process of uploading. A lot of people have voiced their concerns and really their frustrations with that. On top of that, it's the organization of the mod pages. On Nexus, everything's divided into nice categories. You could have users upload images, you could have descriptions, comments, etc. And you could see each page accordingly and really customize it and make your mod page your own as a mod author. Bethesda.net lacks so many of these features and it's really just a lot more clunky and not nearly as intuitive. In some ways, it just simply lacks functionality that Nexus provides. A lasting reason is actually how Bethesda.net and really Bethesda as a company handled mod stealing when it originally happened. I'm not going to get into that because I could talk about that for a half hour, but basically people were stealing mods and Bethesda.net wasn't on top of it. So as a mod author, you have all this work poured into something just to see it stolen on another website for weeks at a time, despite your emails and complaints to the company. This led to some people leaving the modding scene altogether, but a lot of people just stay away from Bethesda.net now and only upload to Nexus because there's much more stringent moderation. And then on that topic, moderation. Bethesda.net's moderation is deplorable. It is actually the go-to place for illegal mods now, that being all different copyright things and just content that is clearly ripped from other games and put into Fallout 4, which obviously is stealing. Whether you support this or don't is besides the point. Some mod authors don't, so they refuse to upload to Bethesda.net as a result. But that's actually only part of the problem. It gets a lot bigger than that. You also do have the groups of mod authors that are PC elitists, which I really don't like. These are basically people that don't think console users deserve mods, which I'm pretty against that. Obviously, I have a PC and I've had a PC for a long time, but having more people download mods and play mods is totally okay. And really, the last major reason is the console community. A lot of these users have harassed mod authors and just been extremely ungrateful about different things, such as PC getting ports faster, and updates and certain users just harassing mod authors to port their mods over to consoles and just being very rude in the process. It seems like a lot of individuals were very entitled in this aspect and it's unfair to just characterize this as the console community. The PC community has this too, it's just the PC community is getting mods. It's not new to us. So those console users out there are the ones kind of getting screwed over and as a result, they're the ones showing their entitlement. So how can we potentially fix this? Well, first and foremost is just being nice. I've personally messaged a lot of mod authors on Next just kind of saying, hey, I'm going to make a video about your mod. I noticed it's not on Xbox One right now. I was wondering if you had any plans to port it. It's a really cool mod and I know a lot of people would use it. You would be amazed by how many responses I got. I can go down a list of people that responded saying, hey, that's actually a really good idea. I didn't even think about that. And then a few weeks later, they'd message me with the updated version and then I'd go make a video on the Xbox release. Just being nice to the mod authors, showing your appreciation, which is important. You have to understand these guys are doing a lot of work for free and frankly, for your enjoyment. I think that would be a good first step in this, as well as trying to limit the levels of entitlement. If a mod author says no, don't get mad and yell at them, but rather just say, all right, that sucks. Hopefully you'll change your mind someday. Even in the comments of my videos, I've been seeing a lot of people with this kind of mindset telling me I shouldn't be making videos about mods if they're not all Xbox based. That's only a part of the community. There's a lot of other people that don't play Xbox that like to watch my videos also. And frankly, due to the state of Xbox mods right now, I wouldn't be uploading many videos because there's not that many mods being released on Xbox. That's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hopefully you take some of what I said. I'm not saying you as an individual are the problem, but there are definitely people out there and there's definitely people out there that watch my videos. I mainly made this video simply because I've been getting so many comments on the topic lately and frankly, I've been noticing it too. There really just hasn't been good options on Xbox, so I haven't been able to cover as many mods on consoles. It's not me choosing to do that. It's just, well, what are my options? There's cool mods being released on PC and sometimes cool mods on consoles. So I'm covering the cool mods being released. I don't really discriminate what console they're on. So I I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it'll inspire at least someone to get a mod released on consoles in a nice way. With all that being said, if you did enjoy, I encourage you to consider subscribing or supporting on Patreon if you're feeling particularly generous. Later this week, I'm going to have my first Patreon series coming out, so make sure to get in now so you can check those out as soon as they go live. But with all that being said, I hope to see you all next time. Later!